Now that we have a project created, let's go into opening and editing as well as saving and closing our projects in a little bit more detail. Let's focus on the project that we created in the previous session, this module two demo project. The first thing to understand is that when you are ready to work on a particular project and you are in the project center, what you click on will be, will be different. It will give you different results. The first thing is understanding the different icons and the selections that you can make when you're engaging and working with a particular project. For example, if I use the hyperlink here from within the project center, the expectation is that I want to view the details of the project, but I just want to look at them, right? I just want to view them. So whether I have permissions or not, by clicking on this link, it's going to take me into the project, but from a read-only perspective. To the left of that, you'll notice that there is an icon. And the icon, and as you can see here, if I roll my pointer up over it, it tells me what type of project it is, in this case, an enterprise project. And it's also saying that if I click on it, a single click, that it will open Microsoft Project Professional so that I can edit it. Right, so I want to work on the project when I click on this icon. Now, to the left of that is what is known as the row selector. When I click on the row selector, you'll notice that the ribbon became active. It's basically thinking that I, of course, want to do something against this particular project. And you'll notice under the project category is the open command. I'll click on the open dropdown, and you'll notice that I get four different options. In browser, which implies that I want to view this particular project within the browser, but not editing it, just to look at it. Then, of course, below that is within the browser, but checking it out, providing it to me in read and write. And then below that is in Microsoft Project, but also in read only. And then lastly, in Microsoft Project for editing, which is equivalent to selecting the icon. So in this case, I'm going to, just so that we can view it, click on the link, right? Click on the, the hyperlink here for Module 2 Demo Project, and let's do that. You'll notice that when I come into this particular project, that it is giving me, again, more status information, including the fact that I'm in the published version. There will also be cases where, as you work through these projects, that the permissions that have been set up only allow you to view the published version or the read-only version. And in that case, the edit that you see here on the left-hand side would be grayed out, indicating that you do not have the rights to be able to go in and actually check out the project and work with it. In this particular case, because I am the owner of the project, I have the ability to edit both in the browser and in Microsoft Project. So it's giving me the ability to view it, but also the ability to edit it and check it out. So I'll do that here by clicking on Edit and then in Browser, and you'll notice how the version is going to change here. So the version now indicates draft. And when I check the project out, you can also see that the two tasks that I had entered in and saved earlier are now available because I'm working in the draft version. This also means that other project managers that have the equivalent permissions or have the rights to check out this project would be able to see that I have this particular project checked out and they would only be able to view the published version. So what I'll do here is go ahead and publish this particular project. So I'll click back on task and notice that there's the publish command. So we'll click on publish. Now don't expect this version to change. Don't expect it to switch over to publish because what you've done is simply have taken those changes that were formerly just in the draft and think of it almost as from one table to another table that there are copies being put over into the published table if you will and that's essentially what it's doing but it's going to keep you 
in this draft version, you have just updated the published version. It's one way to think of it. So after having published it, I'm going to close out of it. Again, it will prompt me to check it in, and I'll do that. Click OK there. And we're going to go right back into that same project. So I'll click on the Module 2 Demo Project one more time, which will take us into the published version. And now you can see that those two tasks that are entered in there are now showing up. Right, They're in the published version. Now the other area that we want to take a look at is, again, the difference between the schedule page, which is what we're working with here, and the project details, or one of the project detail pages. I'll go ahead and click on that here. When I click on the project details, again, I was noting the status message that we're being provided. And I'll click back on the project tab. And from the project tab, what you're noticing is that there is not the notion of publish here. So when you're working with and making changes within a project, and you're working in the project properties or one of the project details area, that you don't have to worry about publishing. There is just the notion of saving. But as you can see, this project is checked in. So these fields here are non-editable. So I'll click on Edit, and notice that there's just the one option to edit it here. Then I can go in and I can make a change to this particular project. Demo to project right, version 1. And then I can hit Save. And again, no need to publish at this point, but I do have the project checked out, so I will go through the steps of checking it back in. Click OK there. 